and I have with me the captain. Sebastian Laps, hello. We're here to talk to you about how CPU and memory testing can help reduce one of the biggest headaches in online advertising. So Sebastian's going to show you a website where we've collected ad specs from a lot of publishers and ad networks because there's a lot of back and forth between publishers and ad networks. Um, between agencies and ad networks and publishers, because when agencies build ad units, they're not up to spec. So what we've done is we've pulled all those specs together, consistent format across all publishers and ad networks. Additionally, you can search across them, you can compare specs, and if the specs are the same size, you can actually combine the specs into one common spec that will run across a number of different publishers. So. That's pretty good, you know, there's, that's nice, that's a website, it's, it's a database, it's kind of pretty, but uh, where's the, the secret sauce here? So, why don't we set the phasers to stunning and engage this audience? <laughs> that's what we'll do. That's right. Let's do it, Cap. Okay, let's uh, switch over to flash authoring, um, because there is one more thing um, to this solution that we're trying and the, the, the aid that we try to give you. Um, we want to actually so just imagine I'm a prof creative professional for a second, not a captain, not flying my starship, and I just did this crazy uh, little star field animations with lots of uh, particles and some nice warp things and stuff like that. And before I uh, want to hand this over to the publisher of my choice, uh, I want to make sure that I actually meet his backs, so this whole back and forth doesn't happen. Got to test it. Exactly, you're going to test it, and this is what we built. We got this little panel here, and what it actually does, it is connected to the other screen. I hope you see it over here. Uh, this is our backend that we built. It's a little testing service, and what we do here, I'm just going to choose the Swift now that I just compiled. And when I upload this thing, uh, it will actually uh, do a lot of automatic testing. It will completely tear apart the Swift, analyze it frame by frame, and it will uh, do performance testing. This is what it should look like. So the thing is coming here, we see it running in real time in this cool player. You see here all the frame data uh, that is being collected all the time, every single frame that we um, collect. Um, and what you can see here is the CPU curve that we just uh, had from this Swift. And uh, so it's not only the CPU stuff that we can figure out with this uh, modified player that we did. It's also a lot of different things, so we can get the uh, width and height and frame rate and uh, the click tags and uh, whatever, network requests, what is pulling in, what is going out, external interface calls, and huge more, you name it. So after we uh, did this test, which is only 10 seconds, um, we came back to this panel, and this panel actually told us, okay, you're pretty good, except for the CPU test, because that failed. So our publisher came up uh, and told us, Guy, you have to be like under 50. This is our threshold. It's our hardware independent Swift bench score that we came up that is now usable. And uh, okay, we see this is something completely wrong here. And uh, if it was just a single peak or something, I would jump directly jump into that frame because we got so many detailed information about these things. Uh, but it's messed up all over the place. So what I'm going to do, and I have an idea because I just wrote this thing, I'm just going to jump in here and change the number of particles that we use in this little... Slow the warp speed down. Exactly, this is what we're doing now. And I'm going to compile this thing again, and you see it's a little less particle, a little less action in there. And uh, now I'm going to take the very same thing again, and resend it back, and hopefully the curve will look a little different. And there you go, it does. That's pretty nice. So it gives you an idea of where you might want to look in your uh, flash. And then we'll see when things go wrong. We are actually able to give you detailed action script information, uh, rendering information. We can tell you a lot of stuff about every single frame. That's pretty good. So, what do you think, Adobe Max? memory testing, all kinds of action script testing, but that's kind of on the desktop, you know, all these uh, great parties we've been having at this conference, we've got a number of different devices, we've got phones coming out of everybody's pocket, what are you going to do about devices, Captain? I'm glad you uh, brought that up, and uh, of course me and the engineers, we wrapped our hands around this, and uh, we did a little uh, device testing on our very own Android. You mean Lieutenant Data? Yes, <laughs> exactly. We took Lieutenant Data, did a couple of tests, but actually he's a very nice guy, but he doesn't suit at all for being a mobile device. 
he's not looking kind of old there. He's not really good with this. Uh, so we came up, we took all that stuff with, that we did on the desktop, all the player hooks that we grabbed, and port them to the Android device actually. Yeah. And uh, we're going to show you this right now. So I'm just you changing. mean Lieutenant Nexus One? That's exactly right. Right. So can we switch to RoboCam, please? Number four to RoboCam, which is the left side. Okay. I think it's there. 